Staying in shape is a lot easier if you've got access to workout equipment in your home. My wife and I make a point of doing a few pull-ups every time we enter or exit this room, and we end up doing way more pull-ups than we otherwise would. In this video, I'll show you how to build a pull-up bar like this one and put it in any room in your home. So how do we build uh, a pull-up bar like this with a finished ceiling? The first thing to figure out is where are your trusses or rafters in the ceiling. In this room they run right here and right here. And so you can see the lag bolts are actually sticking this directly into the trusses. That way this whole thing is very solid and can support the weight of a person. So you can do a lot of different things. You can put a stud finder up on the ceiling and move it around until you find your uh, trusses or rafters, depending on what it is. If you have attic access above this room, you can get up in the attic and actually see where they are. If you don't have either of those, you can take, uh, if you have drywall, you can actually take a safety pin and just push it through there. If uh, the safety pin goes all the way through the drywall, well, there's nothing behind it. Um, and you can move to the left and right until you hit a truss and you'll know because the safety pin won't go through the drywall any longer. And then you can actually move it along. So I like the safety pin because it makes such a tiny hole that you can paint over it or uh, you won't even notice it, to be honest. In this room, this is plaster and lath, so I actually took a little tiny uh, drill bit, uh, I think it was 1 32nd, and did a couple drills right through here until I was able to find the trusses. So this, um, <clears throat> that's how you are able to find where to put these lag bolts. And you definitely want to do that work beforehand to make sure that you've got a solid foundation to hang this from. So once you've found those, there's two measurements that you need to consider. One is the measurement from here to here. That's probably going to be 32 inches because you've got uh, 16 on center floor trusses. And then the second is this distance right here. You want to be sure that when you do the pull up, you can get your head and your chin up over this. And you also want to make sure that the distance from there to the floor is such that you can actually be on the floor and reach or nearly reach your pull-up bar. So once you've got this distance figured out and this distance figured out, you have to choose and cut your metal. Now, this metal was all scrounged. Uh, I live in a college town. College students throw away uh, metal frames for beds and furniture and such at the end of each year, and you can find it there. Uh, if you have a recycling center, there's usually a metal bin, scrap iron goes in there. Uh, you can find metal there. If that fails, you can buy it online from Amazon or King Metals, or you could go to your local hardware store. <clears throat> there are five total pieces of metal in this, in this. We've got two square plates right here and here with holes at the corners. Let's get a little closer look at that. You see there's the square plate and there were holes at all four corners. <clears throat> this is a one and a half inch square tube and this is a three quarter inch uh, square tube. I actually did, didn't want to use square tube, but it's what I had. Uh, a circular tube would be better. It, it would give your hands a little better purchase and, and not uh, grab so hard on your fingers when you're, when you're doing pull-ups. Uh, then you got the same thing on the other side. It's one and a half inch square tube and then a square plate right there. This up here is actually just a, a piece of scrap wood that I had. I put it in there so that when I screwed this up there, uh, I wasn't putting, uh, I was able to sort of spread the, uh, pressure on the ceiling when these things were screwed up in there. Those lag bolts are in there really tight. <clears throat> so once you've gathered your materials, you cut them. It's pretty easy to cut this at the right height. You can cut this at any distance beyond 32. I actually made mine a little bit longer so that I can put my hands on the outside of here and get a really wide grip pull up. <clears throat> and then you've got to make your cuts right here. I took a notch out of this so that I could insert my three quarter inch square tubing in between the one and a half inch square tubing here and make a, a weld all the way around that. So you've got your pieces cut now and you've got to make your welds. You're going to have a weld right up here, right here, over here, and over here. This is all steel, so I was using a MIG welder. You could also use a stick welder for this. Now remember, when you make these welds, you've got to have this distance right here be the same distance as your uh, ceiling trusses or ceiling rafters, whatever you've got. <clears throat> That way, when you bring this whole thing in here, paint it all black, make it look nice. When you bring this in here, you can use those uh, holes that you, that you put in the ceiling earlier to find exactly where those trusses are, and you can ensure that the lag bolts that you screw in here and here are hitting those trusses. That way this thing is solid. Back here, I actually just uh, put in a couple smaller screws so that it's fixed only, they're, they're very short, it's fixed only to this piece of wood here. 
Now, a little bit more on this piece of wood. I didn't want my metal plates right up on the ceiling. I thought I might crack my plaster. This spreads the weight out a bit. I, uh, those lag bolts are in tight, but they're not so tight uh, that I would crack the plaster. And this gives it a little bit more um, uh, resistance to, to uh, cracking the, the plaster when I'm actually on it. Now, I always pull directly down on this. I don't pull it towards myself. I don't recommend that you put on like tension bands or something like that and pull it towards yourself because you're putting torque on those lag bolts rather than pulling directly down on those lag bolts. <clears throat> We're actually gonna look at a different kind of pull-up bar in just a moment uh, where you can do that sort of stuff. But for this style, you can put it in just about any room uh, as long as you locate those ceiling trusses and you'll be able to do pull-ups in and out of a room whenever you have the chance. I mentioned that there's a second style of pull-up bar that you can easily install. <clears throat> this only works if you have exposed rafters like in a garage or a shed. But if you do have that, you can install this sort of pull-up bar that you see here and it's even more useful. Now the way that you do that is you cut a section of 2x4, take a little notch out right here and right here. You're going to put a lag bolt in pointing up and a second lag bolt in through the rafter and back into this 2x4 that you just created. You do that on all four connection points to those rafters. <clears throat> then you drill a hole of the exact same size of pipe that you have, and any old pipe that you have will do here. Um, this is just a length of, sec of pipe that was left here at the house when we moved in. Um, after you do that, it's just that simple. You've got your pull-up bar right there. The advantage here is you've got a lot of support in the downward direction, so you can do normal pull-ups, but you can also put rubber bands on here like this and pull things toward yourself. Those rafters are going to allow you to put torque both in the downward direction and in the sideways direction. And if you've got something like this, Olympic rings, you can also do a lot of Olympic ring work. <clears throat> Even if it's not uh, a straight downward pull that you're doing, you can uh, do standing push-ups, etc, etc. So this is a second style of pull-up bar if you have exposed rafters that you can get to. Uh, it's a really versatile and um, nice piece of equipment that you can build for nearly nothing. There you have it. A simple pull-up bar for any room you've got. My wife and I try to do some pull-ups every time we enter or exit the office, and you can too. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique and useful do-it-yourself builds.